Lovey called it. But I had been used to words for a long time. I knew that. That word was like the others. Just a shape to fill a lack. He could help me more than he could possibly know. Like mother, like daughter. She gonna die, Jewel. A mother, Eddie Bungeon, she gonna die. Ah, don't speak about your mother like that. He's looking at me. He don't say nothing. Just looks at me with them queer eyes of his. That makes folk talk. I was saying never been what he done so much or said or anything so much as how he looks at you. It's like he's got into the inside of you somewhere. Like somehow you was looking at yourself and your doings out of his eyes. My mother's a fish. He's crazy, I tell you! He's crazy, I tell you! I can help you. He's crazy, I tell you. He's insane. <laughs> it's over. Cash, the river. It won't work. There's many instances of the need for careful reading in the novel and the movie adaptation of the novel. In the novel, deep interpretation and thought is needed to understand chapters for mostly Darl and Anne's, who don't speak directly about their emotions and thoughts. In the movie, a more literal need for careful listening is for Anne's. Anne speaks with almost no intelligibility, and it may be a reason for misunderstanding between the family members. William Faulkner helps us escape from our modern reality and transports us into the life of a low-class citizen in 1928. His novel demonstrates a historical aspect to 1928 by transporting the reader into this time through imagery, setting, and characters' habits and behavior. By giving Anne such a crude diction and harsh accent, it exemplifies the social status of the character. The character's behaviors reflect real life by demonstrating how the South's lower class of 1928 acted and behaved. The scenery in the book also reflects real life, especially in the description of the rivers and barns. This book does give very in-depth descriptions of the scenery and gives a lot of good imagery. This key detail is why it was so easy for us to create the trailer for this book. Being able to picture exactly where the author set the story to take place was very helpful in the understanding of the book. This book is very inconsistent. The chapters are short, brief, and a majority of the time, confusing. There is even a chapter that is only a sentence long. The fact that chapters have no order and give little detail makes it hard to follow along. On the other hand, even though the chapters are inconsistent, you can still tell what is happening in the book overall, and you can clearly tell when the scenes have changed.
The tone of the story is extremely filled with tension and unresolved anger. I believe that before the story begins, there is a lot of anger in the family, and when Addie dies, they have no choice but to bottle it in order to deal with her death the, death the best way that they can. There isn't a lot of imagery in the novel, but the gloomy mood shows the character's inner attitude. The mood for the reader is mostly agonizing and at times awkward. For example, the river scene was difficult to read because so many things went wrong and it was painful to, for the reader to read each instant for each character in the scene. Another example of this is the scene where Cash gets his leg cut off because once again, it was painful and really difficult to read. A lot of characters go against my personal morals in this book. Every character is so focused on their own needs, from Dewey and her child, to leave Jewel caring only about his horse. The characters' attitudes, I believe, aren't true to what they are actually portrayed in the novel. I believe that they are acting different due to their situation with their mother because they are grieving. This book creates a lot of varying opinions and ideas for the readers and can be interpreted in a myriad of ways. Considering that there are 15 different characters and we are able to see the inner dialogue of each of them, we are given an explanation for their behaviors and actions on the outside. By Faulkner allowing us into the minds of each of these characters, we can see their literal, de their literal and figurative journey into insanity and dysfunction. Not a single one of the children deals with the death of their mother in a healthy way, and their actions demonstrate the insanity that the family falls into. I rate this book a 4 out of 10. I rate this book an 8 out of 10. We're just not going to keep this clip. Okay, bye! Guys, you got this. That is not productive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cut in position. What are you doing? Oh, again. Shush, shush, action! Ah, uh, go. He's crazy, I tell ya! He's insane! Cash, the river! Action. Cash, the river! Cash, the river! <laughs> <laughs> ain't having it, buddy. <laughs> Near the day when they were getting chased. Oh my god! Now we're all on the ground, huh? laughing. Wee! <laughs> Baby! He had a long day, though. <laughs> Hi, AJ! Ew, that was disgusting. Okay. She's like, Jake, get on, 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 Mike. No! No, I do not want to be on top of this! <laughs> <laughs> He was a swamp king, right? Okay. And Faith asked if we could film here and we would get in trouble, and now look at you. <laughs> hey, Antonio, go. Don't make that face. Then. I'm trying! They're throwing dirt at me! It's Jake! You started it! I didn't do none. Come on. Come on. Oh, we just need you for like 10 seconds. Be cool. I think we can talk, guys, because we're cutting this audio out. Oh. We're just using this because Addie's going to have a whole speech talking about how she never loved ants. It's like, that? love is just a word. Oh. Can I flip my hair? Don't look at the camera. Yeah, you can flip your hair. Is it going slow-mo? <laughs> sure. <laughs> can it be slow-mo? <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. My mother's a fish. Do it again, but not looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Oh, I thought you were doing coffee. Like you're doing work, AJ, not like you're beating a drum. No, this is gonna break. AJ, just keep doing it. Anything. <laughs> AJ, stop! Anything so much as how he looks at you. It's like he's got that inside of you. Got into... <laughs>
<laughs> AJ. AJ. You didn't start it. There's a sound. <laughs> it's beeping, oh, and there's a. I didn't hear it. Never mind. Just keep going. Oh my! <laughs> he started it. Okay, look intently. Can we just like laugh? Like a laugh scene? Just ha ha ha! <laughs> look. What do you mean? Look at that one. Like, what do you mean? Just look lovingly, right? Just look at each other. I'm AJ, at him. please do it nicely. We're looking at each other. Just, just look at each other. Why would I not? As he's doing great. AJ, just look at him. How long do you need this? <laughs> Pretend he's over there and you're like looking oh. at him with all the love in the world. <laughs> Wait, can I just read it? Yeah, go read it again. Read it again. This way? I'm doing it like here. Pretend your girlfriend isn't watching. <laughs> okay. Jake, just. Let him <laughs> 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 hey, you're doing great. Doing great, sweetheart. Jewel, our mother, Addie Bundren, is going to die. I don't speak about your Trying to get the I best can't. angle possible. <laughs> There's also potato piano. There you go. She gonna die, Jewel. Our mother, Addie Bundren, she gonna die. I don't speak about your mother like that. <laughs> Jewel's mom is a horse. <laughs> A bug landed on your knee. Yeah! It's right there, man. You eat my cookies. <laughs> That's what you get for befriending a squirrel. <laughs> Evil creatures of death. Wait, I don't know what I rate it. Hold on. <laughs> um, I rate this book a 7.5 out of 10. Can you just give me a solid number? I rate this book... Just 7 I or 8? <laughs>